What's up you guys? Welcome back to another Roblox video. Today we are going to be seeing if the Dark Matter gun in Roblox Big Paintball is really worth all the hype. I know that there's some people out there who claim that it's like the most overpowered, most insane gun that you can just get so many kills and it's so unfair. So we are going to be testing my two go-to guns, okay? One of them with a rapid fire rate and the other one with just like a single fire rate. And we're going to see if you can even get kills with any other guns. Well, obviously you can get kills, but we're going to see, you know, how they perform and what other tips and tricks that you can do to strategize so that you don't have to spend $300 on a gun, you guys. But I don't know. I might see how these perform and how the test between the two guns play out. And then I will determine whether or not I'm going to buy the gun because I am still thinking about it. So without further ado, let's play Big Paintball. Okay, so there's two guns that I personally like that are not snipers. So there's the UMP, it's an automatic, and it's a quick mobility and fire rate. It's pretty much like your, your standard basic UMP gun, pretty much. So we're gonna play a game with the UMP, and then down below, I also have the flame gun. This is by far my favorite. This is not an automatic weapon. Remember, it only takes one piece of paint to take somebody out. So even if you have the dark matter gun, somebody with the default gun will get you at some point or any of these other more cheap basic guns. So we're going to do the UMP first. It's 13,750 credits. Extremely easy to grind for because I know a lot of people do play this game every day. You can definitely get the UMP right away, baby. So let's go out here. Let's see how many kills we can get it and then we will compare it with the flame gun and we will have to determine whether the dark matter gun is even worth 300 or 400 dollars like you can't even grind for that thing if you if you want to grind for the dark matter gun you guys i mean you're gonna have to play for hours straight every single day for almost an entire year like i've already done the calculation it, it it's it's 100 million credits okay it's a lot okay so we're tagging a lot of people with the ump it does not have the greatest fire rate oh my gosh okay so if you're one of those people that likes to do this just spam jump this ump is good for you trust me all right come on felipe we got this brother yes i like to see felipe's on my team baby we are taking over yeah what's up buddy hey hey dude don't don't turn your back bro okay you're gonna get shot right in the right in your giant head that giant felipe head has the biggest hitbox so it's not really the best move to wear a felipe face or a felipe head out here in the battlefield bro all right, come on, we got this. What are we at? 10 kills already, and the game just started. And I even did, like, a little intro talking about the guns. All right, let me pop a radar out here. Yeah, another little helpful tip is it does help to get at least, like, uh, I'd say, like, maybe... Th Wait, how's this dude typing and playing at the same time? Yo, Felipe, quit playing with your... <laughs> get out. Felipe, your giant head is blocking my view. Come on, dude, stay behind me. So I was gonna say it does help to get, like... A bunch of the sentries out at the same time that way you can get a lot of kills all at once all right we got to take these guys out top you guys these guys are sniping and I don't like it I'm not a big fan of snipers I like coming out here in the battlefield oh my gosh and it's okay if you die a lot in the beginning like I said another really helpful th strategy you want to do is you want to load up a bunch of sentry guns dude honestly all right, we're going to pop a radar, Felipe. Get out here, brother. And we're just going to spam. We're just going to spam. Oh, God. Okay, right here. Right here. Just avoid the paint. That's all you got to do is avoid the paint, baby. All right, we're at 23 kills. Not bad. Come on, baby. Look at this. Racking up kills. Okay, I'm going to put a... Oh, no. I was going to put a sentry gun down. It's all good. All right, you know what? Let's have a little goal. Let's try and get four sentry guns while we are using this UMP because it's not always about the gun, you guys. If you have a bunch of sentries out here racking up kills, you know, every 10, 20 seconds, that's where you get the high kills. You need to have all of the resources as possible to get as many kills as you can because you want to get to that nuke. It's all about the nuke, baby. Look at this. We're raiding their base. We got three sentry. Oh, God. We got, I'm going to stay away from that little safe zone there. Okay, I'm going to pop a radar. Make sure 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, that was a big waste of a radar. But I got four. I already have four. Okay, we have four sentry guns. We have three drones. We are going to get out here. Let's pop a drone, pop a sentry, and we're going to place these sentries strategically. Felipe, I'm not going to tell you again, brother. You have to face the battlefield or you are going to die. All right, we got a bunch of sentries out here. Let's see if we can get some kills with those. That will definitely help us while we use this UMP gun. Okay, what are we at? 43 kills already, you guys. And it's been what? Like, how much time is on the clock? Eight and a half minutes? Okay, so we've done what? Like, six minutes, maybe? I don't really know exactly. Look how many sentries we got out. Okay, no more sentries right there. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, take her out. Take her out. Get this guy, the guy with the blue hair. Get that sentry out of here, please, before it kills me. Thank you. So I think that if you put a sentry right here where I'm standing, it's it's going to die like right away because they can kind of just stay in the back and just light it up. Okay, we're going to go down below. We're going to see what we can do. We got to pop a radar just to make it safe. All right, I'm going to put one right here. And then always when you go underground, you always want to put at least two sentries here. I only have one. So we'll put one there. So if, when they come down here, they're going to shoot at that one in the middle. But then we got this backup one right here. Okay, I'm pretty sure that we should we should be able to get a nuke, hopefully, in six minutes. We only need 63 more kills. So I'm just going to hope that they just walk into that paint right there. Nope. Oh, she walked right into it. Okay. <laughs> See, that guy just killed me. What gun does he have? This guy has the SMG, you guys. The, the second gun. It's a starter gun. So even if I had the Dark Matter gun going out there, he would have killed me. Because I didn't see where he was. Okay, I'm going to put a drone there. I can't really save them right now because I really... Oh my gosh, scared me. I really want to get this nuke because time is running out. I still need 21 kills. So I got to go downstairs because it looks like that's where they're coming now. Because we keep pushing them back in their base, which I knew they would do. So we got to get a nuke, you guys. We got to get 20 kills in three minutes. Can we do it? We have two sentries. We already have a... F oh my gosh, I actually have like five or six total out on the battlefield right now. So we're going to place the other two right here because these, in my opinion, are the best spots to put them. Right there. Pop my last radar and we're going to go get this kid. Oh my god, there's a sentry right there. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, I got to take this out. Okay, there we go. And take him out. Take her out. Take this sentry out. Okay, 17 more kills. We have to get this. Look how many... I, have, I don't know how many sentries I have out, you guys. I think I have like eight. I have close to ten. All right, I'm going to put one right there. Oh, no. Oh, God, where are they? I don't have any radars. I have no idea where they're at. They're going to come out of nowhere. Ooh, drone. Okay, now I have a radar. They might all be downstairs. Nope, they're all in their base. Let's push their base right now. Good job, Felipe. He just got so many kills, dude. Nice. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, he's going downstairs. Eight more kills for a nuke. We have to get this because we have to determine how many total kills we're going to have with this gun. And everything counts, you guys. It's not all about the gun. Okay, one more minute left. Six kills. I have to do it now. It's now or never because that nuke is so important. There's someone coming down. Oh, they went back up. They're scared. They're scared. They know Tussie's close to a nuke. This guy. This guy. Okay, there's another one right here. He's not going to come down, though. I don't know why. I think he's scared. Come on, buddy. Okay, thank you. 40 seconds. I'm putting a sentry right there. I'm just going to do it. Dude, I have to get this nuke. Oh my god. No, 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 no. No, please. Thank you. Oh, this girl. This girl. Yes. Oh, I got the nuke. Okay. Finally, I got the nuke. That scared me because we only got 20 seconds. All right, here goes the nuke, baby. Bye-bye the entire lobby. We got two extra sentries. Let's see if we can get any more kills doing that because we got to soak up as many bodies as we can. Okay, so the total kill is 106. My average is around 150, and that's with the flame gun. So we're going to see how many kills we can get with the flame gun. Yes, everybody vote bridge team deathmatch again. I do like free-for-all sometimes, but you guys, I mean, come on. Bridge team deathmatch is the most fast-paced, best map for a team. I don't like campsite that much. It's just really slow. The map's really big. There's that big hill that you constantly have to run on every time you get hit. I'm not a fan of it, but bridge team deathmatch, that's what it's all about. So we're going to go with the flame gun, you guys. It's only 225,000 credits. As you can look, I have 600, I have more than a half a million credits from just playing this game. And I, 
I already own the flame gun. 14 and a half minutes to see how many kills we can get with it. So this is really good accuracy. You don't really have to aim high. You kind of want to aim more on the target. So I've noticed with the flame gun, it's easier for me to get people that are up top because you don't really, you kind of see, you kind of just line up your target that's, or your, your little crosshair that's on your gun with the target enemy. So you don't really have to do a lot of guessing. It's just kind of like right where they're at. See, this gun is really good. I would highly suggest it unless you guys don't like clicking a bunch of times. Okay, I have a feeling that a lot of them are going underground because I've only seen a couple of them at their base. Yep, they're underground. Okay, so they're cutting through that way. That guy's going up the middle. Got him. Pop a radar real quick. I know there's some... Yep, there's more down here. Oh, they're about to be down here. Okay. Look at them all just, like, hanging out in the back of their base. They have nowhere else to go. Oh, my God, there's two of them. Oh, God, there's two of them. Oh, no. Oh, and a, oh, and a sentry. Okay, I gotta go down there. I gotta fight underground. So I haven't put any sentries down for the most part. I have five right now. So I'm probably gonna... Oh my gosh. All right, I gotta go kill that doge real quick though. So I got five sentries. What's up, buddy? Remember me? Ooh, ooh, two of them again. Two of them again. No, 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 two at once. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm a legend. Okay, we're gonna put one right there. Wait, okay, right there. Right there. Right there. Okay, we're definitely gonna get kills with that. Look, we're already getting kills with the sentries because they're coming down. Oh, you love to see it. I don't think I can put one right there. Let me try right, right here. Okay, I think I have too many out in the same place, but it's all good, baby. We're coming up. Here's Tussie. Oh no, the Doge. I'm gonna place three sentries out here. I'm gonna try and get rid of those. Oh, I have another one, okay. So we're gonna start getting some kills now because we gotta get that nuke again. So it'll be a really good comparison of between the two guns that I'm using. Yeah, you guys can't go downstairs either because I got a bunch of sentries down there too, baby. You already know. All right, so that was with the flame gun. How many kills did we get? We got 132 kills with the flame gun, a little bit lower than my average. I'd say my average is closer to 150. All right, you guys, so those were the final results of the UMP and the flame gun so the conclusion is the dark matter gun really worth it i mean if you could actually grind it out and get it absolutely i mean it's the best gun in the game come on the fire rate is insane but can you actually grind out for that or do you have to spend real money my opinion is as long as this game's going to be really popular and you're not going to get tired of it you kind of just got to spend money if you want it right away. You're not going to get it grinding. Trust me. I played enough games that are so similar to this to where they purposely make it so you have to spend the money or you have to wait a really, really, really long time to grind it out. And honestly, if I tried grinding it out, I would never get it because I don't have that time. Most people don't. I would assume a lot of you don't have that time either. So I hope this video did give you a good idea on whether you should actually buy the Dark Matter gun or not. You don't even need the Tempered Scar, but I'm sure the Scar is really cool, but it is like 3.2 or 3.5 million credits, which is a lot. I've been playing this game nonstop for these videos, you guys, and look, I don't even have a million credits. And you need 100 million credits for the Dark Matter, you guys. That is absolutely insane. So my suggestion, don't buy it. Just try and get better at the game. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smack the like button. I greatly appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.